Um, hi everyone, my name is Andy and I've just completed all five levels of Rosetta Stone French. And um, when I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to buy the Rosetta Stone program, I was looking around on YouTube for some reviews and um, really what I found were two kinds of reviews. One of people who really didn't know what they were talking about, people who maybe bought the program that day and were just trying to we're just excited and wanted to share about it, but and that wasn't really very informative for me because I want to know about the end result. And the other kind of reviews were ones who were clearly trying to sell you some other kind of program, so they didn't want you to buy Rosetta Stone. Um, so the one big exception to that are the Kevin J. Thornton reviews, which he's reviewing the Spanish program. And so if you want some more information, you can check out his his videos. Although he very unfortunately never finished the entire program, he did come very close though. Um, so basically, I'm not trying to sell anyone anything. I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything. I just want um, everyone to have, you know, as much information as possible if you're considering buying the program. So I'll tell you about my experiences. Um, first, let me tell you about me, that I'm a native English speaker, and I grew up speaking only English. I took Spanish in high school. And um, I later lived for two years in Madrid and Mexico, and I became a fluent speaker of Spanish. So French is my third language. And um, I uh, now have a master's degree in teaching Spanish, and um, so I, you know, know a little bit about language, um, about language instruction. That's why I wanted to get Rosetta Stone because I was interested in knowing how well it worked. And so, um, you know, knowing Spanish already when I went to learn French, I think did have did make does make it easier because there's a lot of they're both Romance languages. There's a lot of grammatical um, points that they share. But it's not so easy that it was a piece of cake. The two languages are very different. Um, so if you want to know what exactly the program is like, um, there's a lot of other videos out there. And I think Rosetta Stone even lets you do a, a demo on their website. So I won't go too much into it. But basically, they'll tell you a word or a sentence. You'll hear it in the target language. And then you have to click on the photo that... Um, shows that so they might say the French word for man and you click on the picture of the man and obviously it gets more complicated than that as it goes on and um, there's more to it like there's fill in the blank exercises there's repeat after them exercises and there's even a typing exercise uh, so let me talk about the you know the actual review uh, the first thing I want to talk about is cost that's one of the things that everyone complains about um, is how expensive it is and how you can't sell it to someone after you're finished well, the cost is um, listed at five hundred dollars for all five levels, and I paid four fifty with some sort of sale. And I actually have a friend who paid four hundred on a different sale. So the cost is going to be between four hundred and five hundred dollars. Um, so I know that that might seem expensive because it's a piece of software, but I really t didn't think it was that expensive. Um, for example, I mean, uh, you know, at a university, one semester of language training can is much more than that. It can cost about fifteen hundred dollars uh so that it, it, I mean, that's not at some sort of very expensive school either at the university of missouri that's a state school um they pay you pay 274 dollars per credit hour while spanish one is a five credit hour class so that's thirteen hundred and seventy dollars for spanish one and that's an additional you additionally have to pay a textbook which is going to be about 200 something dollars and um, and that's at a state school. So if you're going to a private university, it's even more than that. So five hundred dollars isn't all that much for a lang for language instruction. Language language learning is expensive in general. Um, so I don't think people should be complaining that much about the price. If it works, it's a good price. But I mean, the question is, does it work? And well, I wish I could say yes or no that it's it works, but it's more complicated than that. Uh, the simplest answer I can give you is this: that Yes, it does work okay, but probably not as good as you are hoping. And that's only if you finish the entire program, and you probably won't finish the entire program. Uh, so the commercials of Rosetta Stone seem to imply that you're going to finish the program and be this like fluent speaker who's dreaming it. You know, you have they talk about having dreams in your in your target language, and and that's just not the case. And even if you look at what Rosetta Stone actually says about their program. Um, they tell, tell you that they'll get you to a low intermediate level, and I think that's accurate. I would say that my my French is is low intermediate or maybe intermediate. Um, you know, I could I could go to France tomorrow and have and get around okay. I could do all those typical tourist stuff, order in a restaurant, book into a hotel, get a bus, 
ask for directions, you know, that sort of thing. I can do that. And um, I can I can watch some French videos in, on YouTube without any sort of um, subtitles and understand the majority of it. And I actually, I've been kind of putting my DVDs into the French language um, track and I watch those without any sort of subtitles. And uh, so that is, you know, that's not nothing. That, that's genuine understanding. I understand what they're saying. And um, the thing, my biggest complaint, I think, would be my speaking ability is really low. I don't think I could have a conversation because um, r speaking and writing, so actually producing a language, is not very low. I say it's lower than it should be for the program. And I think that's, that's the way, I think the program is, is um, done that way. There's a lot of listening and clicking, and so I can recognize language, but there's not all that much generating your own language. So I would say that that's a real weakness on the program is generating language. I would say that it's done very good at teaching me how to recognize language, how to listen and watch videos and read a book. Because I can go to news websites, read news websites. I'm reading Harry Potter in French. So I'm very good at recognizing language, but not very good at producing language. And I would say that's a major weakness with the Rosetta Stone program. Um, so... I, I, I'm trying to compare it to where it was when I was learning Spanish, where it would be equal to, and I would say that it's about equal to, my, my French is where I, is, is about equal to where I was after two college semesters of Spanish. So I would say that the entire Rosetta Stone program is equal to two college semesters of the language. That's, that's the best equivalent I can give. And probably you're going to have a lower language production uh, than you would after two semesters of college and a better language recognition. And for me, that's okay because m the main reason why I wanted to learn French was to watch videos, to, um, you know, watch French films and read, you know, French novels in French. So I don't have any French friends. I don't know how much, I'm go how much language producing I'm going to even need to be doing in my life. But even still, I, I want to be able to have that conversation. So that's something I need to work on outside of Rosetta Stone. Uh, and another thing is that I'm, there's a lot of, see, you don't ever hear anything except for the target language, uh, in Rosetta Stone and they don't sit down and explain to you gra grammar. They just show you, they show you the differences, they show you, so, um, how it's conjugated and you have to just figure it out on your own. Why is it this, this time? And why is it, you know, this a different way? Like, like, why is it le, you know, le, le, oh my, I will. I don't know. It's why why is why lay before some nouns and la before other nouns, and you eventually realize, oh, it's lay whenever it's masculine and it's la when it's feminine. But they never tell you that. You have to figure it out on your own, and that's okay for a lot of it. But sometimes there's very very complex grammar, and that I was able to do to, to do recognize it easily because of my Spanish background. That I was wondering, you know, how can someone who doesn't have any background in, in a Romance language understand this? Like, like. Um, imperfect versus perfect tense, or the subjunctive mood. I don't understand how anyone could have recognized, could figure that out without straight up instruction. So I would recommend that anyone who's doing, who who's going to do Rosetta Stone would also need a some sort of a, a you know a grammar uh, manual, some sort. So some sort of you know you have to look on Amazon and, and get yourself some sort of book to to consult from time to time because. Rosetta Stone just doesn't explain the grammar, and sometimes you're going to need that. So that's another thing. I think I didn't need it because I have a Spanish background, so I know about what subjunctive mood is. I know what the imperfect tense is. And if you don't know those things, you probably will need something to explain it to you, and Rosetta Stone doesn't. Uh, and then the biggest problem by far with Rosetta Stone is that it, you know, it only works if you do it. And I think the vast majority of people will never finish the program. Never. I mean, they say it's, that you can do it in six months, and there's no way. It took me a year and nine months almost. And I mean, I think almost nobody will do it. It's not fun. Don't ever. They'll try to tell you it's fun. It's not fun. It's hard, and it's uh, it's time consuming, and. Uh, you know, I think most people are going to start out, you know, excited and the easy parts and it's going to get harder. You're going to get tired of it and eventually you're just going to put it away and then next thing you know, it's been 2 months and you haven't touched your Rosetta Stone. You know, and it's almost nobody will do it. I can't even believe that I actually finished it. And 
And so that's a big problem. And it's not a problem with you. That's another thing. You know, I don't want it to be like, oh, well, people are lazy and they're not going to finish it. It's a problem with the program. They, you're not, there's no motivation to finish it. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of information in that program, but it's pointless if no one does it. And that's, that's a problem with Rosetta Stone. It's like if I'm teaching a class, a Spanish class, and I teach a really great lesson and nobody's listening to me, that's my fault. I failed as a teacher because I didn't keep the students engaged. I didn't make them, motivate them to learn. And so Rosetta Stone needs to work on their, on motivating their students. Um, they talk about like, oh, that they have this, you know, uh, scientific research that that's why this is the best way to learn a language. But there's a lot of scientific research about motivating people also. They need to look at some of that research and apply it. Like, uh, my idea was that they need to have some sort of optional program where you can, let's say for finishing a unit, you can, you earn $5, but if you don't finish it in two weeks, you lose $5. So that's why people have this kind of reward and punishment system. And, you know, you can make, if there's 20 units, you can make $100 back off of that. So I think that that would motivate people. And then also I think there's some people who wouldn't do it. So Rosetta Stone's not really losing any money because they're, you know, those people who aren't completing the units on their deadline are paying the ones who are. And I think that that would motivate people to finish it. And, uh, and so, but anyway, I, I don't know. That's Rosetta Stone's problem. They need to figure out a way to motivate people. And so, but, so anyway, uh, and then so, and like I said, it took me a year and nine months. And if it's two years of college, that's what I'm saying, it's two years of college, then, or two semesters, sorry, two semesters of college, then that's not really that good of a use of my time. I, I could have gone to a, a university and gotten those two years. Um, I would have had to pay more. But anyway, so the bottom line is that the program's okay. It has its problems. You probably need some sort of outside help for the grammar. And, uh, and you're speaking your language production, your speaking isn't going to be as good as you want. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, you know, I, I'm watching movies in French. That's not, that's not nothing. And, and, but I actually finished the program and I think most people wouldn't finish the program. So that's why for the vast majority of people, I, I would not recommend Rosetta Stone. But if you're someone who's extremely self-motivating, so self-motivated and, um, and is interested in, more in listening and understanding like watching videos or reading than you are in actually speaking then Rosetta Stone's a good choice but in general for mo for most people I think it probably isn't so anyway thanks for watching I hope that h helps you decide whether or not you want to buy Rosetta Stone or not um, I don't regret it I'm glad I did it um, I've always been interested in, in in finding it it's given me a really good start with my French so um, I don't regret it but I think there's a lot of people out there who have a unused Rosetta Stone box collecting dust on their shelf. So, um, you know, if you're if you're not extremely self-motivated, that that could be you—a $500 yellow box and a really cheap headset. So um, you don't want to be that that person. So if you don't think you're going to do, you're going to be the someone who actually finishes it, then uh, then don't buy it. But there is some some real some real um, information there. So if you are someone who's self-motivated and interested in in a language, then it's not a terrible choice. There, are, there's worse ways out there. So, thanks.